What's up, everybody? I want to do a quick video here on a uh, cool piece of software that I've been using here uh, recently called Local Bly, uh, Flywheel. This is a way to do local development on your uh, workstation or laptop at home um, prior to actually connecting to a web host uh, for later use. All right, so let's go ahead and download this. And I'm on a Windows machine, so let's do Windows. And as far as I know, all you need is just your email address. Uh, let's see here. And then, uh, you know, if you're just getting started, basically you would just select, I don't work with WordPress yet, and get it now. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video while this downloads here. All right, so we've got our file here. Uh, let's go ahead and run the installer. Okay, so first box that popped up here is uh, just a notification from Windows here to turn on error reporting. I'll go ahead and I'll do that. If you've got UAC turned on on your Windows machine, you'll get a few prompts. You'll need to accept those, so we'll, we'll probably see those here. And there was my first one. I'm not sure if that's going to show up on the video or not. Um, should get about uh, three or four of those. Okay, looks like VirtualBox has been installed here. All right, that took a few minutes here. So let's go ahead and first look at the preferences. <clears throat> um, I actually prefer the dark mode here, so I'm gonna change that. Uh, new site defaults. Um, really the only thing I change here is the admin email. Um, you can actually change the domain suffix uh, to whatever you want here. I'm just going to leave it at .local. And then as far as the site's path, I'm going to leave that at the default as well. Um, PHP, MySQL, and web server version, I'm going to leave those. And development mode, I'm going to leave that on. So let's click apply. Exporting, I don't change anything here. Um, same with advanced here, so I'm not gonna, this here, this uh, fast Docker volumes piece uh, looks experimental. I'm not gonna mess with that today. Uh, blueprints we'll get to here in a bit. Um, and then add-ons. Um, as of right now, we're not gonna do anything with the add-ons here. So let's exit and let's go ahead and create a site. So I've got a few um, I've got a, a theme here and a, a plugin that I'm going to install on my first WordPress site here. So uh, the theme I'm going to use is Astra and the plugin is Elementor. So let's go ahead and name this uh, WordPress site. And I'm going to leave the default uh, domain setting here the path is good and I'm not going to use a blueprint I will be converting this to a blueprint uh, as soon as it's finished here so I'll show you that let's click continue um, preferred is good enough for me here uh, if you do use flywheel for your web hosting uh, you want to leave it at preferred because you can actually do what they call a push and pull where you can uh, develop your, your WordPress site locally and then push that to Flywheel. Um, and then also you can, as far as the developmental piece, you can actually pull that site from Flywheel's hosting to work on it locally um, and then make your changes, uh, do your testing, that sort of thing. And then once everything is good to go, you can push it back to, to Flywheel hosting. Pretty sweet. Uh, WordPress username and the password and I'm not doing multi-site
Okay, so it gives us an overview of our settings here. Um, if you wanna actually check out the site or the, uh, the files locally here, you can click uh, this little arrow button there. And here is basically all the files that are required to one WordPress. Won't get into any of those today. And here's the database. Uh, we're not going to do anything with the database today. Uh, SSL, I do like to install the certificate, even though it is local here, um, because some of the plugins that that uh, you may test um, uh, like to have a, a, a certificate installed here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, and then utilities, we're not going to do anything with, with the mail today. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, click admin here. Uh, one thing you're going to notice here, um, you may be asking, okay, didn't you install an SSL certificate? Well, we did, but we need to do some configuration within WordPress here in order for that to show up as secure here. So let's go ahead and log in. All right, so basically let me show you here real quick where that setting is uh, right here. So we need to change this to HTTPS. And then I like to change the time zone. Uh, I'm here in Iowa here, so we're gonna change this to usually Chicago is the closest. Save changes. It'll log you out. Uh, and you'll notice right here now our certificate is good to go, so let's log back in. All right, uh, let's see here, let's show off for a few minutes. Okay, um, as far as settings too, so we, we changed the, uh, the URL here to add HTTPS, we changed the time. Um, I had mentioned earlier, I'm going to actually change this to a blueprint. So uh, let me just do a couple things here. Just a couple reminders here when we actually work with the blueprint later. Um, writing, I generally don't change anything. Reading. Um, actually we'll get to let's go to pages here first so by default WordPress will install a couple pages here um, what I normally do uh, there's really just four kind of basic pages that I use to start um, that would be home about contact blog so we should see those I'm gonna go ahead and delete these two okay um, and then as far as posts Let's delete uh, this by default. It uh, by you know it creates a, a default post here. I don't need that, so I'm gonna delete it. All right, so let's go back to settings. Uh, we were in reading, and I'm gonna change the static page, the home page. I want to be home. Let's save that. And then one other thing I like to change uh, in permalinks here, we like to use the post name, which actually is already set for that. It used to be the default it used to be, um, I think plain here, but uh, yeah, post name is what we want. So let's save that. Okay, so uh, I'd mentioned that we're going to be installing Astra and Elementor. So Astra is basically just a, a real fast, efficient theme here that I like to use. So let's go to appearance and themes. I'm going to delete um, uh, we're not going to 
use any of these. Okay, so 2017 is by default what it's using. And so this is what uh, that looks like. All right, let's go ahead and change our theme here. So let's go to add new, upload, choose file. There's Astra. Install. All right, so we'll return to themes, and what I'm gonna do is uh, you need to activate that. So now, so here's Astra. And I don't need 2017 anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and install Elementor. Um, you can do it a couple different ways here. Uh, Elementor is actually in the WordPress repository. I could do a search. I could uh, install it here. Um, I've actually got it downloaded already. So I'm going to use that file. and activate. Okay, so we've got Astra installed as our theme. We've got Elementor installed as uh, our plugin, first plugin. And basically we're ready now to create a blueprint of this uh, WordPress site. So let's go ahead and do that. Basically, you just click on the name and then save as blueprint. We're going to call this Astra Elementor Blueprint. We'll go ahead and we'll save it. All right, so it is saved and Let's, uh, let's create another new site here real quick based on that blueprint that we just saved. So let's click on a new site. Astra Elementor, how about 2019? Everything looks good. And then we'll use the blueprint we just created. So it's gonna extract those files. And that was fast. Okay, just a little note here. It's saying your site is using HTTPS, but the local SSL certificate isn't trusted. So let's go to SSL. Let's trust that. And let's check that out here quick. Okay. Um, so we basically, from the blueprint, it saved our previously used username and password. So I'll utilize that. And it kept the S, uh, trusted the cert, and it went ahead and changed the name to 2019. And... Here's our 2019 site. Here's our 2018 site. So there it is. Thanks for watching.